Hey everybody, Greg here, and this is a short video about Atlas Coffee Club, uh, which is a sort of coffee subscription or home delivery of coffees from around the world. So quite interesting for those who are lovers of coffee. And let me explain how this came up. Last year, in June of 2019, I got an email that was similar to hundreds of other emails that I get in. The general format is this. The email comes in and it says, oh, I visited your website, I saw this page, I love the content. Hey, there's a broken link on the page. Would you like to link to our website instead? So it's like these basically spam messages that come in and people wanting me to link to their, their product or their company or whatever. So I usually ignore those, but I do kind of skim over them just to see occasionally there might be something that's a legitimate email. So this email that came in, it was from Luke at Atlas Coffee Club, and they uh, probably some automated computer, you know, found a post on my website relating to coffee. I think that's how these things work because who's sitting down and reading a million websites every day, right? So, um, but anyway, it said, you know, looking over various posts uh, that are coffee related and saw this post on your website and really liked it, wondered if you'd want to link to uh, our website. And, you know, I checked out Atlas Coffee Club. As I say, most of the time, these offers from companies, they just don't make the cut. You know, there are a number of hurdles that a company is going to have to go through before I'm going to link to their website because if you link to some random website and that website is, you know, not well ranked or not well respected um, by Google or Bing or whatever, um, it, it's going to bring your site down because your site is measured in part by who links to you and who you link to, what, what's the quality of content you provide and the quality of content uh, for those who you link to. So I only want to link to websites that are of sort of equal quality or greater quality than, than mine. And I, I really liked the uh, Atlas Coffee Club site. I'm just going to you know, click on it now um, to give myself a refresher. But yeah, just nice, clean, elegant design, great uh, menu across the top, great visuals, nice pictures. And here's, here's the deal. So with this coffee club, Atlas Coffee Club, you basically get to be exposed to and experience coffees from around the world that you might not otherwise find out about, you know, in your local coffee shop. So um, I had a really nice uh, email exchange with Luke at Atlas Coffee Club, and I said I'd be happy to help, you know, introduce other people to their products. And um, then Luke offered to send a sample out. And so uh, I got that sample and, and really enjoyed it. I thought that was a very nice gesture on their part. So I, I wanted to put this video out there and um, you know introduce people to the product. Let me say for myself, and this is an unusual situation that I'm in, and that is I live in Iowa City. It's a college town and probably similar to like Madison or Berkeley or any other little college town with lots of little coffee shops. And we have quite a few local roasters in our area. So, you know, with the uh, promoting of local business, I'm definitely somebody who kind of leans toward going with our own local roasters. And there are certain roasts that after lots of research uh, and experimenting with different coffees, um, I've kind of settled on as my favorites. And um, the, the one in particular is from a local roaster where on the bag, on the bag of coffee that you purchase, it shows you the date that it was roasted. And quite often it would be like a week ago. Um, and these beans, in fact, I'm just gonna push pause and let me just show you what this looks like. So what we have locally is this Cafe Del Sol roasting and in Iowa City. And as you can see on this label here, um, the date that this was roasted was March 11th. And I've had this actually since the 16th. So I bought that five days after it was roasted. 
Now, what happens when you get locally roasted beans that were just recently roasted is, I don't know if you heard that air escaping from this glass canning jar, but wow, it, it's like super potent. And there's oil that seeps out of these coffee beans. Um, I'm gonna see if I can give you, you see how they shine? Do you see how shiny those coffee beans are? And you can look in there and you can see there's a coating of oil on those beans. It smells just amazing. So at some point, if you're in one of these communities where you have a local roaster, you need to track that down, get some of this coffee that's been fresh roasted, or you know, you could order it probably through the mail. I know there's some roasters around the country that'll fresh roast and ship it out, and you get these the full bean and it has that oil on it and you grind that up and you make espresso with it and it's just amazing. So um, so that is, I would say, kind of the pinnacle, the maximum coffee experience you can have. Get a like an espresso steamer, frother, grinder, everything in one machine, right? And grind this fresh roasted coffee, fresh ground, make it into espresso, it's an amazing experience. That said, let's just go back to Atlas Coffee Club for a moment. Um, for anyone that likes coffee, yeah, it's fun to, to try out these different blends and try out these different coffee beans from around the world. So I would definitely say, you know, check it out, um, whether you sign up or not, or, you know, start using their product every week, that's that's up to you. I don't use a lot of coffee. I don't go through a lot of coffee, so I kind of have to limit the quantity that I buy. That's number one consideration. And number two consideration is because I don't use a lot and because I want it to stay super fresh and have the oil still like dripping off the bean, uh, then I probably won't end up buying like five different coffees and letting them sit in the, the cabinet, you know. You've probably seen that happen also with tea. Sometimes people will have like 20 different kinds of tea in their cabinet and some of those have been sitting in there for like five years and they're all sort of dried out. So uh, I really like to have, whether it's tea or coffee or whatever foods, I like things to be super fresh. Um, but that said, I, I do want to just send a shout out to Alice Coffee Club. I think it's a great concept, a really nicely designed website, good products, good people, responsive people and uh, definitely worth looking at, particularly for those who have an interest in different kinds of coffee and who uh, are going to have some on hand. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments, the subscribes, the follows, the shares, etc. And I look forward to sharing more with you again soon. Take care.